Hi friends, Miss Edgarn here, and today I have kind of an interesting challenge. My friend Linata suggested I try one of those optical illusion drawings for Halloween. So this is the example that she sent the cat and the mouse. Then if you look closer, it's actually a woman's face and this is her eye. The garlic is her nose. So it's kind of the two-in-one art drawing styles. So I don't think I'm creative enough to come up with something quite like this. But I did find some of these that I thought were kind of interesting where you have kind of a nature drawing with like a woman walking, but usually the smaller you look at it, you can start to see that that's actually a face and this woman's coat is the nose and her skirt on the ground is the, the mouth. And then you have two houses or two tunnels or something back here and they are the eyes. And I thought that's probably more doable. Here's another example um, where you have a couple and there's the ocean and then if you look a little bit closer, you see this looks like a baby. These branches just barely emphasize the baby's face, so then you can see it's actually a two-in-one image. So that's my idea. Uh, in honor of the original one, I was going to try to do a cat and some kind of foresty scene. So yeah, now that I've explained the concept, let's go ahead and draw it in. I think for this challenge, the best thing to do first is draw on the shape I want and then draw everything around it. So I'm going to start by drawing in the shape of the cat, at least the silhouette. Okay, there's my sketch of a cat. You'll have to forgive me. I'm not super great drawing animals. I don't think it matters if it looks like picture perfect, but I think it, it comes across enough. I just want to make sure I got a nice shape. I'm going to duplicate this and put it like under my background layer. And that's just my own paranoia that if I mess it all up, I'll be able to go back to my original sketch. And in the meantime, I'm going to start drawing, I guess, trees. <laughs> so so this will be like a tree here and this will be a tree here. So these here will be the big thick trunks and we're going to try to make sure we keep this shape. So I'm going to just maybe blow up my brush a bit for now and really emphasize that this is a trunk and I might even like use that negative space there for the bottom part and maybe we'll have like branches here and here. And then this tree will go down like this and up like this. There might be like a, a way to actually do these, but I'm just going to make up my own way. <laughs> so that is tree number one. And then, you know, the idea, I'll just do it real quick. If this was all completely sealed off and then, you know, when it's like that, then the negative space will show the cat. So that's the idea. That's what I'm going for. Uh, same thing on this side. We'll have a big thick tree. This will be one branch that so goes like that. And then the trunk will go down and down and go like this. Now I think this tail is going to have to be something. I'm going to have to be creative with it because um, this will be the tree's trunk. I'll show you in a sec here. And then this could come down, go in like this. Uh, maybe some more branching off. Another one that will go up like this maybe. We'll uh, fine tune all this in the end. And then this tree will go way over because it's got such a bump here. It's like it's, it's a bent tree. The tree got bent in the wind or something. So that will be the general outline of the cat. I think this goes in a little bit more like that. Create kind of a cool tree shape. Reminds me of the tree from Fern Gully for some reason that they dropped uh, Tim Curry's character in. Shout out to anyone who's seen that movie. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll work on We'll work on getting these detailed out more. The branches will have branches. That'll have branches. That'll have branches. The general shape is here. Okay, I think I might center this a bit. So for the tail to get over the fact that this goes in front of the tree, I think we'll make it a bush, like a leafy kind of bush that comes out like this and is like this. Hi everyone, future editing this art garden here. And I don't know what happened here, but I lost a little bit of footage. I think it was like a minute or so. So just to catch you up, I decided that the bush tail looked janky and I changed it into a snake wrapping around the tree. And I added some squiggly fantasy lines to the bark so that the trees would have some texture. And I'm going to jump back in talking about how I think it'd be cool if the full moon was showing in the cat's chest area. So here we go. 
moon area in the back that could be like a bell kind of thing for the cat. I think it'd just be kind of fun. Okay, now these will just be, I don't know what they're called. When you have like trees, but there's little sticky things that come up. There's stickers maybe. Like I have an apple tree and there's these little sticker things that grow out at the base of the tree and they have to be, you have to cut them off otherwise they kind of take away from the trees nutrition and stuff so that's what these will be and I'll emphasize these a little bit they'll, they'll all have a little bit of a wider base but that'll give it the look of the legs what do you think <laughs> is this coming along I'd like to give it some sort of inner ear maybe just like a little branch thing here and a little branch thing here yeah and then we'll just give it some kind of horizon one there one there and we'll have some clouds or something in the back it'll be properly kind of spooky so that's our outline. Let's just kind of work this up a little bit. So I want kind of a brownish yellow for the background. Uh, maybe that's a little too warm actually. Yeah. I guess. No, I think it's a little too dark. <laughs> so, gotta find that perfect mix. Let's bring up the U. Maybe a little more darker. Yeah, there we go. The U meaning command U. I don't know why I said the U. I'm gonna duplicate this again out of my own paranoia that I'll mess it up. And I'll go ahead and just make it completely black. And I'm gonna work on refining this. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna leave it in the sketchy sort of style, even though it goes against my core being so bad at sketchy styles. But I think it adds to it if it's it's not like clean and precise because then you start to see different things. I'm gonna get rid of these clouds. Let's clean up these trees and make them a little bit more interesting. I don't know how I'm gonna do the bark part. I like the little fantasy swirls but maybe they look a little out of place. What do you think? One thing is I want to add some more leaves like the cat eyes so we're just gonna go through that. Let's make some skinnier branches like out here where we'll have more of these leaves. Yeah we just want a bunch of leaves. Maybe have this one come out here and here. There'll be leaves on this one. Okay, and the same thing over here. Don't want asymmetrical leaves here. If you guys hear a buzzing, I have my super old 2005 uh, iMac G5 <laughs> iMac set up because I thought I was going to be able to use it while live streaming because it's I don't have enough room on the one screen to have like the art program and the references and the chat especially is really hard for me to see. I was like, oh, I'll set that old thing up. And it turns out that YouTube does not work on old operating systems. <laughs> so now I just have it up. I have like a little cat silhouette over there that I was trying to use for a reference. Yeah, so we'll make sure there's no line there. Clean up the snake a bit. I have a little skinny tail. Okay, and I want to even this out, make it a little thicker there. And then I don't know about the, the weird head shape I gave it. I think I just give it a little bit more of a traditional snake thing. And I'll give it a little forked tongue there. Let's give it a little eye. I'll make it a cute, cute snake. And maybe even a grin. Do snakes have grins? Yeah, we could work a grin in. And then have some scales. I don't know how to do scales. I'll just butcher some scales in here. Okay, this is not gonna work. This snake is probably gonna be the, the weirdest looking part of this. I'm so bad at snakes. I don't think its smile is coming across very well. Let's get it. You know how they kind of look like they're smiling and then they open their jaw and consume an entire animal and you're like, oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, so like some squarey looking things up here maybe and then they go kind of roundy like uh, like fish scales after that maybe. I should have done a brush. Does anyone remember my terrible dragon brush? My dragon scale brush? What else could this drawing use? How about just some like grass? And then as they go in the back, they get a little less. I've never been very good at detailing. That's like, if I had to say, you know, I joke about how I can't do buildings or animals or whatever. I think as long as you have a reference, you can almost always figure stuff out. But when it comes to detailing, <laughs> that is my true real downfall weakness. Should we make like a little bit of a jokey thing here where the snake is like looking at a mouse? That might be kind of funny. What do you think? I wonder if some lines will look good or if this will look like junk. I just think this bottom part looks strangely empty. This is why I don't do sketches. I don't know what the heck I'm doing. Okay, anyways, over here will be a little mousey and we'll just have it drawn in. Uh, what do mice look like? Little mouse ear, little mouse body, little mouse tail. This is the worst mouse. I can do a better mouse than that. Give me a sec. I was gonna look up a reference but apparently my internet is down so we're gonna figure it out. So the little mouse head like this has two ears like this and the body's probably 
probably something like this. Let's just get the little tail in like that. I'll we'll just do little stumps for legs because I don't really know what to do. Um, and we'll do like a little black thing and then we'll do a little eraser mark here. I'll color that in. And then some kind of little nose and some whiskers. All right, so this is all very rough, but that's okay because I decided halfway through this that I wanted this to be rough. <laughs> uh, let's get some color in. And this sky I think is going to be sort of yellowish, reddish. Let's see what this color looks like. Is this on 100%? Let's get this on 100%. Ooh, that's kind of a spooky Halloween sky, huh? Sketch it in here. Make sure I go over the entirety of the horizon line. And then we'll have some kind of almost green for the grass down here. What I have was pretty good. I guess I should, I'm probably gonna put a couple line things there for the horizon because it wouldn't, it'd still be behind these little sticker things you see. Yeah, okay. So that'll be the back and that'll be a little bit lighter. And then as you get to the front here, let's turn our opacity down a bit and our hardness back down. And we'll have this uh, darker area here. And then we gotta blend it. So it looks less like it's just coming out of nowhere. Oh, that's wrong. All right. And then, I mean, in the future, we might add some shadows, but that's the future. Now let's draw in the color for the trees. I think that's a little bit too uncolored. So let's give them a little saturation. Yeah, that's more like what I want. So we fill in this. I have no idea why I'm not doing these trees on a separate layer. <laughs> that's okay. Foresight, hindsight, none of that matters. <laughs> <laughs> Live in the now. My, my computer fan is getting louder because it's getting hotter in here. I have the window open and it's not like it's pretty cool outside. I think it's like 60 but there's no wind so it's just useless to me. <laughs> the house is probably like 80. I live in like a solar passive house which means that I live on horribly hard concrete floors and there's big windows on one side and they heat up in the day and they're really hot and there's uh, like water pumps that go under them so at night when it cools down the water pumps turn on and they go around and then that heated stone from the front side with the windows uh, heats the rest of the floor up which heats the rest of the house up <laughs> Fun fact, it's really miserable though when you're in these transitional seasons because it's not cold, <laughs> so it's just really hot. Yep, okay, and then we'll do some leaves and we're gonna make them pretty dried out and blech looking. So I think actually we'll do them like red or like, like red yellow. You know how like leaves are kind of brownish? Let's try this color. What does this color look like? Uh, on the other hand, if they're yellow, they'll make better cat eyes. So let's go for yellow. This is messy, messy drawing. I usually don't like messy, my messy artwork. Mostly because I think messy artwork kind of relies a bit on the, um, I'm gonna have to do something about that nose. I just realized that could be like a bat flying. I'll go back to that. But yeah, I think messy artwork kind of relies on having certain Certain attention to detail, if that makes sense, which I've already covered is my weakness. It's my kryptonite, except I don't save the world, and then that stops me. I just can't draw. <laughs> Okay, um, yeah. What do you think so far? Is it looking okay? What color should our snake be? I kind of want an orange snake. I know I'm having a lot of same color syndrome, but I also think it kind of un unifies. Unifies? Yeah, uh, unites the piece. It's gonna be an orange snake. Does it look dumb orange? Let's find out. I think the problem with it being orange, so I've decided I don't really like it, is it kind of messes up the tail. So let's make it just another dull, boring <laughs> brown color. Um, or we could do like a black snake. A black snake might be kind of cool. Let's do a black snake, I think. That might be better. What do you think? Let's just blob it in here and see what we like. I usually put it in and then I look at this little um, navigation window. I think this is super handy when you're drawing because it helps you see it like from two different sizes. Oh look, my internet came back. These mice are way better than what I drew. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix my mouse. I'm gonna just load up one of these images before my internet goes back down. Fun story. Look, look at this mouse. Look at this cute one. I will never be a cute drawer. I'm not gonna copy that mouse. <laughs> Um, I'll probably do something. That's kind of what I did. I'll probably do something more like this. So let's get that one loaded up. Okay, going back. Tangent over. Let's see this snake now. I don't like how blue that is. Is that the... Why does that look blue? Uh, 
Huh? What about this? All right, that, that'll be... Oh, it's too close to the um, trees then. We're gonna go with the yellow snake. Kind of a yellowish friendly looking snake. No, it, then it sticks in too much. I'm really indecisive here. I'm going back to the orange. I'm just not going to make it as orange as I was. It looks kind of cool and I still think you can see like the snake from the silhouette area. Okay, we'll put like a little dot here for its eye. I'm going to go back to my sketch. First things first, I'm going to pop in like some of this stuff here. Like the horizon line isn't lost. Even though that cuts the cat in half, I think that helps the overall thing. And then all I really need to do for this mousy buddy of mine is fix its tail. I mean its leg. It needs to come up a little bit more and come down like that. I think that's a little better. This leg actually will have some um, like little area, little things. I don't know, lines. <laughs> and its head needs to be shrank like into a cuter shape like that and then it's ears. Uh, I guess they're okay. They might be like a little bigger like that. Uh -huh. I gotta adjust my brush sizes when I work on this stuff. And then this will go in like this. Okay, this uh, like this over here is all fuzzy and I, I, I need to work through my compulsion to want to clean this up. I must, must, okay. I'm, go I'm zooming back out otherwise <laughs> I will want to clean it up. Okay, we just gotta finish coloring some details here. Uh, let's get the moon. I'm gonna erase the moon from here and we're gonna get like a moon. Does that look like a moon? I should have looked up a reference of a moon. Um, I think I want it a little bit more yellow like. I'm doing this on the sketch layer anyways and I don't want to do that. Let's make a nice, I can't get that roundness. There we go. A nice round moon. Can I do a quick moon search? Is the internet still on? It's still on. Usually when it goes spotty, it goes off forever. Okay. I have some moons here. I like this, but I think I'm going to go more for like this look here. So let's add some like spottiness. I got to make sure that we don't cross into that background color. Something like this. You know, the moon's got like weird little things perfectly described in English and not crazy gibberish, of course. That'll be good enough. I don't want too much detail because it'll kind of not, yeah. <laughs> okay, final touches on the coloring. Let's turn my opacity back up to 100. These I'm gonna give some color to. This one a little bit like this. This one over here we're just gonna color like that. All right, and then we'll do the greenish for some of these bushes, like this bush here. Is that too green? Mm, yes. I'll have this like monogamous. Monogamous? Wow, I'm really good at speaking. <laughs> Monotonous? I don't even know what word I'm going for here. This boring same color, same color thing. Um, we could have a couple bushes off in the distance here that aren't defined, like maybe a bush over here. I don't know. That, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Just have some spots there so it's not just like out of the blue that there's stuff. Yeah, so we'll do, I'll just skip to quick finishing touches here. And there we go. We have our two-in-one optical drawing. And yeah, what do you think? I had a lot of fun. It's interesting to try these challenges. And thank you to Linata for the suggestion. It was a good one. It's like a game. It's like a fun little game. Can you figure out how to do this? <laughs> so anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care and I will see you in the next video.